Hillbilly DVD reviews. We got a blue light special on unboxings today. Today we're going to be doing the unboxing of the UK Blu-ray Steelbook of Rise of the Planet Apes, as well as the what I believe to be the France fucking that's France for you uneducated motherfuckers out there version of Planet of the Apes or Rise of the Planet of the Apes, or as they call it over there, Les Origines Wolverine X Men. First up, we got the UK Blu-ray. For a lot of people out there who aren't up on their sci-fi bullshit, Planet of the Apes is a story about how in the future, fucking Republicans don't want to pay minimum wage anymore, so they train apes to work at McDonald's, and next thing you know, fucking apes are tired of working for fucking minimum wage bananas, and they rise up, they fucking form a new, what the fuck am I saying? Rise of Planet of the Apes UK edition right here. Got the front, it's got a real glossy thing here. You can even see your fucking camera. You can even see me. Let's see. Maybe you can see that I'm staying here in my underwear or not. I don't know. That's the front. Unfortunately, like a lot of UK releases, they just print the ratings here. So, you got this great artwork that's really just bold, simple, clean, and then Oh, this movie's so fucking hardcore, we let 12 year olds watch it. They're, 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 they're fucking UK. That's the front. Typical spine bullshit. You can tell they're trying to be classy here and they even ripped off the font from the Charlton Heston one. Then we got the back. It's like a regular back with description of the movie and all that shit. Got pictures of all the monkeys throwing bananas, throwing shit, showing their dicks at the zoo, where the fuck they do in this movie. Got all kinds of bullshit, digital copy bullshit. This is the Blu-ray disc here. Looks like the poster for 12 monkeys. And this is the DVD digital copy, I suppose, right here. Fucking plain ass inside on the UK release. This was the one a lot of people wanted when the word hit the interwebs and all that shit. Because a lot of people just went nuts for this uh, design here. Pretty good one. I like it a lot, man. Now we move on to some France. Hey, which is French right bullshit. So, anyway, wow, that's kind of bootleg. Anyway. Forever in a day, you will know because they printed on here that this edition collector contains Blu ray, DVD, DVD bonus, and copy digitally. This planet seems, ooh, this planet this is like all raised here. That's pretty cool. And this is, you know, almost the same cover as this one. Fucking same eye, the same damn dirty eight, probably. But then they put almost like a film strip looking shit here, a panoramic scene of all these motherfuckers on the Golden Gate Bridge. Fucking celebrating Brad Pitt winning the World Series and Moneyball, even though he never won it. We got the spine here, which is strange. They, I mean, I won't say they put it upside down because there's really no right or wrong way to play it. But usually when you lay it with the front up, usually it's this way, but they did it this way. They want to be Frenchy motherfuckers. That's fine. Let them do it. On the back, there is um, paper bullshit. And when you take that off, you will see these motherfuckers try to... I'll tell you, this movie must not have any action in it at all because, like, they just keep putting the same picture of the same motherfuckers going crazy on the same bridge. Oh, talk about bootlegs galore. Okay, we got the blur right here. Almost the same design as the other one. We got the DVD. And then we got the copy that you buy outside 7-Eleven from a guy named Jose. No, actually, this is the, what the fuck is this? Digital copy? No, this is the DVD. And, what the fuck? I don't know. One of these is a DVD, one of them is not a digital copy card. And let's get down to the brass tacks. How much for the fucking ape? This is the collectible that comes with this. It says Plan the Apes on it. And it comes with some little film reel bullshit. Okay, folks, I apologize. This was really hard to zoom in on this to get this in focus, but I figured out what these pictures are, okay? This one is Andy Serkis. He's, he is a real actor, but he plays a lot of CGI bullshit. He dances around in front of camera, and then they turn him into like a CGI character. That's him in his weird CGI suit. He's got a helmet and all these little sensors on it. And then the middle one is like a, looks like a PlayStation 2 ape, like really fake looking, cartoony looking. And then this one is like the final one, what it looks like in the movie. You know, supposed to look real wink wink, but fucking still looks like PlayStation bullshit. But anyway, that's what this card represents. It represents how they took an actor, turned him to a cartoon, 
and they turn him in a supposedly photorealistic ape. And then we have the inside artwork. This one, the France one, has inside artwork. It's a black and white close-up of, uh, I guess this is the main ape, a gorilla, a helicopter, another gorilla, cop car getting all busted up shit. So that's it, man. That's France A. That's UK. That's Burger King Have It Your Way. And that's it for Hillbilly DVD Reviews, Blue Light Special. Unboxing some fucking ape bullshit.